Well, when most people think of salads, they imagine something with lettuce. But if uh, here in Minnesota, because if you're watching us uh, from other parts of the country, salads can mean something totally different here with ingredients like Jello Whip uh, or uh, like Cool Whip rather, Jello and even candy bars. And by the way, I have a very uh, serious correction. I said that Snickers salad has grapes; it has apples. Apples. A Minnesota mom is earning fame on TikTok thanks to these Minnesota salads. Look at this. Oh, hi there, and welcome to Minnesota salads that aren't really salads. Tonight, we're doing two of our most requested salads. That's right, folks. We're turning apples, pudding, Cool Whip, and Snicker bars into a salad. Chop the Snicker bars. The magic of transition. Chop those apples. Some say peel them, too, but I leave the skins on because I think they look pretty. Mix your pudding into your apples. Mix in your chopped up Snickers. Measure it with your heart. Fold in the Cool Whip. And there you have it, Snicker salad. It tastes a lot like a caramel apple. And if you're wondering it does. Every Amber Schwartzrock is exposing the world. And I do mean that to our sweet salads with her That Midwestern Mom persona. And Amber joins us live this morning. Hi, Amber. Oh, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amber. <laughs> I just want to come through the TV and hug you. How you doing? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. How did, Amber, how did this... And we're going to talk specifically about TikTok in the next segment. But how did this begin for you? Like, how did you take this persona and decide to put it to take put it on TikTok? Um, I I don't. It, it happened overnight. Um, I have lived outside of Minnesota for 20 years, and then I moved back about four years ago. And uh, I've lived on the East Coast. I've lived in Colorado. I've lived abroad. And I've always thought when I come home, you know, everybody would think this is so funny. Every time we have a family gathering, we have jello salad, we have pudding salad, we have Snickers salad, we have cookie salad. And um, and and that has been the reaction around the world on TikTok. Um, people in Australia have asked me, what what exactly is Cool Whip? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and I, I say, well, I think some of the ingredients might be illegal in your country, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Um, <clears throat> So we, uh, I, I just I always meant to write a blog about Minnesota food and Minnesota gatherings, you know, our small town festivals, um, everything that we do, you know, from the Lutheran church ladies to, to our potlucks. Um, but uh, I, I'm a mom and I have dyslexia, so writing's not my forte, but um, I'm a performing artist. So I was like, you know what, let's just try this. Let's just try this TikTok thing. And it blew up overnight. Um, I, I wasn't expecting it. People ask questions all the time. They say, my grandma made that. You know, my Auntie Barb brought that always to Thanksgiving. And nobody else could bring it because it was her salad. Um, so it's just been, it's been a wild trip. It's been so fun to interact with people all over the country and all over the world. Amber, you, you, you were telling my producers that your friends that you've actually made these salads for they don't, they still don't get it. I mean, do you, is it, no. it, it doesn't click with them, does it? No, um, I think the best reaction I had was when I lived in Baltimore and I served, uh, we call it raspberry pretzel salad. It's the jello salad with pretzels on the bottom. What? Wait, 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 cheese. wait, wait, wait. I have not heard of this. That's I've lived here for TikTok. You got to check out the newest TikTok video. I posted it two days ago. This one's amazing. Okay, wait, wait. So, so what is this again? It's raspberry, uh, raspberry pretzel salad. You put butter, sugar, and crushed pretzels on the bottom. The middle layer is cool cream cheese and powdered sugar, and the top layer is jello and raspberries, and it's divine. I don't know why we call that one salad, actually. I think it's because it's like a jello mold, um, but I served it alongside the Thanksgiving turkey in Baltimore, <laughs> and <laughs> I was going to... I was going to the Peabody Conservatory of Music at the time, so a lot of my friends were actually from Korea, and my accompanist was like, Amber, why, why, why you call this salad? What, what, what makes this salad? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just call it a, a dessert. Let's forget the salad thing. Let's call it dessert. But what? it's an excuse to have dessert twice because you serve the salad with dinner, and then you have dessert afterwards. <laughs> Amber, is that raspberry one? Is that your favorite? Uh, yeah, probably. I have to admit. Um, oh, and we're looking. <laughs> we're looking at the video. We're looking at your TikTok of you making the raspberry one. I, I got. I've been here 25 years, and that's one that I have not had. I, I haven't made or tried. Now I have. I have to try this one. 
It's it's amazing. Um, everybody came on and claimed that they make it with strawberries and they prefer strawberry with Jello better. I prefer the raspberries because it's tart and sweet and salty all at the same time. It's just oh, it's a culinary delight, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Amber, we're gonna play Price is Right. I want you to give me how much in a year do you think you spend on Cool Whip? Oh, okay. So my character is based on my mom. It's not based on me. <laughs> <laughs> my mom these are my mom's products back here she had this all in her pantry and we no just, no yeah. that's ready to go. <laughs> that was just you didn't do this for tv no this is from my mother's pantry <laughs> There's also a TikTok video touring my mom's pantry. <laughs> the, okay, because Amber, you know, I mean, you know, you're in, you're in this biz. You know that even peep, there's a, there's a, there's a, a rating background site. There's a guy that rates backgrounds yeah. of, of Zoom interviews. I thought that that your background, I thought you bought all of that for interviews. No. That's no. That's naturally your mother's. That is. That is literally my mom's pantry. And actually, that's not even half the jello she has right now. <laughs> Dying. Because Absolute. You have to buy it when it's on sale. You, you do. I mean, otherwise, it's really expensive. I know. <laughs> My mom, my mom loves her Sam's Club. And instead of just buying like, mm -hmm. and, and it's, you know, my mom is just one per, my mom will buy like 50,000 of something, you know, because yep. it's a good deal. It is. Yeah. It is. And in Minnesota, we have to have three freezers to put it in. So. That's right. <laughs> okay, we have more with Amber. And if you want to see Amber's salad videos, follow That Midwestern Mom on TikTok. Uh, we started our own Jason Show TikTok last week. After the break, we're going to get some pointing pointers on going viral with Amber. That and more when we come back. Next. <laughs> oh, that's great. Tonight we're doing a church potluck staple, Keebler Elf cookie salad. Of course, my Keebler Elves fudge striped cookies have already been ripped into by my children because I literally only buy them to make this salad for the church potluck. Pineapple is optioned. Lots of people add it, lots of people don't. Just make sure the fruit is well drained. Mix one package of vanilla instant pudding with one cup of cold buttermilk. Crush two rows of cookies. This is very important. If you're making it for the church potluck tomorrow, make sure you put the crushed cookies in a Ziploc bag and mix right before serving. Otherwise, they get soggy. Fold it in. Make sure to decorate the edge of the salad in your favorite Tupperware dish. Okay. Loving life. Another Minnesota salad from that Midwestern mom on TikTok. That video alone has nearly 22,000 likes. Amber has tens of thousands of followers on TikTok and is approaching a million total likes. And Amber uh, is back with us. So, uh, Amber, when did you start to realize that this was taking off? Oh, gosh. Um, I, I posted, not in character, I posted, uh, I think it's called Watergate salad. We call it pistachio fluff salad. It's just pistachio pudding and Cool Whip and pineapple. And I just made it and I said, uh, I did it in my normal Midwestern accent. And then I said, oh yeah, I forgot I was going to post this in a Minnesota accent. So let me know in the comments which character you prefer. And everybody just went bonkers. And then I posted one other Minnesota salad. I can't remember which one it was. Um, and cookie salad is the one that really took off. Cookie and snicker salad um, took off. And then because a girl can only eat so much Cool Whip in a day, I did um, like the, the ham and pickle roll-ups and I've done tater tot hot dish. I've done uh, funeral party potatoes. Um, every time I post something that is so normal that we eat around here, everybody just goes crazy. And it's not, it's not always positive. I mean, usually the vibe is pretty positive, but um, it, it, people will argue about how they make tater tot hot dish and how that it's better than what I did on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm I like this. This is not a cooking channel. This is a humor Minnesota channel, yeah. and and I'm just using salads because it's hilarious. We were laughing during the break, Amber, that Cool Whip containers turn into Minnesota's Tupperware. Do you, does your yes. mom? Yeah, it, it, I, I did an episode on that. <laughs> did you? Of course you did. Of course you did. So. We do not throw out Cool Whip containers or sour cream or cottage cheese. No. No. It, it's all. We it's reuse all, those. That's wh what leftovers are for. <laughs> it, it, you, you know, it used to be in the day, and, and to a certain degree it still is, you know, it, you, when you would walk around, if you were a, a local celeb, 
uh, you would walk into a grocery store and people are like, oh, I saw you on TV. Now it is, hey, I saw you on TikTok. What is the reaction to your town, to you? Um, actually, funny story. Uh, while I was making a Minnesota salad offhandedly, my mom's a hairdresser, so she puts my hair in rollers, curlers for this. <laughs> and offhandedly, I went to the grocery store to go get the ingredients. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm wasting a great opportunity here. I should be recording this. Yep, that's the one. It's at 750,000 views. I, 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 I don't, people are comparing me to like how I met your mother. Um, oh, I forgot the actress's name, but she's like the, the token Midwestern actor people are comparing me to the movie Fargo um and everybody's like wait a minute cottage cheese what are you going to do with cottage cheese um and so the grocery store employees um every time I go in with my hair rollers now they're like oh what salad are we making tonight how many <laughs> views are we at now how many followers do you have <laughs> so, and the Frazy Farm is going to do an article about me and my TikTok and the Jason show so <laughs> oh <laughs> seriously <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> We've made it, Amber. I know, I'm so excited. Can anybody get me, get Cliff to sponsor me? That would be fabulous. I know, seriously. <laughs> Again, I just, I, I gotta say, the background being your mom's is my favorite thing that's happened on the show in, in, in a several weeks. <laughs> that that is just your mom's organic pantry is fantastic. Is. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. How many followers do you have now, Amber? Do you know? Um, I just broke 40,000 yesterday, so that's kind of crazy. Um, 40,000 people want to see what I do with Jello. <laughs> <laughs> There's your bio line. I love it. Well, continued success. Will you please come back and see us? Oh, I would love to. Thank you so much for having me. Perfect. Amber, thank you so much. Be sure to follow Amber on TikTok. Her handle is that Midwestern Mom. And while you're on TikTok, don't forget to follow us. We're very happy. We're very proud of our new channel. The Jason Show TV, again, the Jason Show TV on TikTok. We'll take a break. We'll be back right after this.